And Christine, for the first time, we are hearing from the family of the man shot and killed in the first of those three freeway shootings from last Tuesday. The family says up to 10 shots fired into the car, one of them hitting Freddie Gomez in his back. He died a short time later. And that brings us to the emotions of this vigil tonight. Have a look. Sadness and grief marked by these candles, balloons, and a message card, all on the overpass above the very spot where it happened. Yeah, I, for me it's like a dream because we haven't even seen him. We don't know, you know, we haven't seen his body yet. They are remembering 36-year-old Freddie Gomez, shot and killed in the first of three freeway shootings that struck last Tuesday. There's no words that I could say how I feel. Um, just want, I just want them to find who did this to my uncle. Gomez was driving on the 710 northbound just after midnight early Tuesday when a black car pulls alongside and opens fire. Gomez is hit, shot in the back. He called a girlfriend that he was on his way to pick her up. And a few minutes later, he called her back saying that, um, that he got shot. And they were saying, well, who did it? And he's like, I don't know. It's just, I don't know. It was just like a black car. That's about all he said. The family saying this is how they will remember their Freddie here at his son's fourth birthday party a few months ago. Happier times back then, now changed forever by violence. The deadly gunfire here followed by two other freeway shootings all happening in less than 24 hours. The second shooting happens here about 25 miles away on the eastbound 91 in Carson. The passenger side window blown out by bullets fired again from a passing car. A female passenger shot and left critically hurt. Then a few hours later, the 710 freeway is the target of the third shooting that day. This this time near the Alondra off-ramp in Paramount, a man in the front passenger seat and his four-year-old son in his car seat, both hurt by shattered glass from that gunfire. Violence, and for this family, death on the freeway. That's left them asking for justice through all of their grief. I mean, it's hard to believe that he's gone. I mean, we don't know why it happened, who, who did it, and we just want justice. Now, the family's also set up a GoFundMe page. They're really concerned and worried since Gomez leaves behind his four-year-old son, Noah. And you heard his sister. They want justice, saying they know someone out there knows who fired those shots, at least in this first shooting, because the CHP says all these three shootings, separate incidences, not the same gunman. So the family hoping someone will phone in a tip to the California Highway Patrol, and they can bring Freddie Gomez's killer to justice. For now, we're live here at Bell Gardens. Ed Laskos, back to both of you. We go. Oh.